Hey everyone, in today's Snapchat video, I want to show you how to get your Snapchat history. Now that's all the snaps you ever send, all your chat history, purchase history, friends, rankings, account history, location history, all that is still available and you could request that from Snapchat right inside of the app. You don't have to do anything special to get it. Anybody could get this from Snapchat. So as you can see on this page, some of the stuff on Snapchat are available in the app, like your name, username, birthdays, and things like that. But the things that have a check mark next to them, like login history, account information, snap history, chat history, all those things can be requested from Snapchat. So let me show you exactly how to do that. And if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow social media videos every single day. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss the next social media video. Jump into your Snapchat app and press your little icon on the top left here to go to your account page here. Click the gear icon to go to your settings on the top right. They do move the setting gear sometimes, so make sure you find it and then go to settings. And then on this page, scroll all the way to the very bottom of the page and right above logging out, there is an option called my data. Go ahead and press that. And this is the page I had opened in the beginning where it shows you all the data that's available for download. Now, once you download them, as you could see up here, it's going to send you a zip file and it says it's best viewed on a desktop. There are applications that let you view zip files and unzip them on a phone, but they don't work very well. So the best option is to finding a desktop, a computer to view it. If you don't, just go ahead and search how to view a zip file on a phone if you don't have any access to a computer. But let me get to the bottom of this page finally and submit request, press that. And here it's going to say we're preparing a copy of all your data and we'll email it to you. So it's going to be sent to the email that you used to sign up for your Snapchat account. So once I get that, I'll jump into my computer to let you know exactly how to view it. So a couple minutes passed and I got an email. It says, please click here to access your data. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And again, you'll have to log into your Snapchat account because now I'm on a computer and not inside of the app. So let me do that. And this looks like the same page I showed you inside the app. The only difference is my data is ready and I could download the zip file here. Let me press that and it's downloading it. Let me go ahead and open and unzip it here. So here we have three different folders here, HTML index and JSON file. You don't have to worry about what these are, but we want to go down and open the HTML folder here. And you could see all these different HTML files are different things. So account history is here. But if I wanted to look at snap history, that's this option here. So I need to open this in a browser. Let me just go ahead and open with Safari here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just block this. This is from my actual Snapchat. But you could see from these are the different people that send you a Snapchat. What they send you was a video image that will be over here. And the date that was created, all of that is here. So you could go to snap history on the side. You could go to chat history again. The same kind of thing will happen. Let me know in the comment what you think of this, the fact that Snapchat does have all this history here. Luckily, you can't see the videos or the images themselves. It's just going to tell you the media type. That's great. There is really no way to get those back from Snapchat. And that will kind of defeat the purpose of Snapchat. But it looks like chat history, snap history, and all this other information is available on that downloadable zip file. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media videos. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.